Today I am visiting the worst football stadium in the Premier League. In the top division you may be thinking there's no bad stadium. Luton is full of character and a proper traditional stadium. However, what about West Ham and their soulless bowl? It's such a shame as they had a fantastic old school stadium of Upton Park always creating a mental atmosphere. However, unfortunately in 2016 they sold off the stadium to property developers for £38 million. A new era arised as they moved into the Olympic Stadium in what was a good deal for the club. However, for a fan experience it just hasn't been the same. The view is incredibly far from the pitch, atmosphere is always lacking. It is a good location, so that is a positive. But today I want to experience a match day as a home fan would. My mission is achieving 100,000 subscribers, so if you are new, please subscribe. West Ham are playing Bournemouth, so let's see what this experience is like. Oh. And this is step one of the journey complete. We're in Norwich and we've got to take a train down to Stratford, two hours, it's a piece of piss. <laughs> made it to Stratford and I will say one thing as I touched upon on the intro the location isn't bad whatsoever it's when you get to the stadium and inside it around the stadium as well you got shopping centers you got everything food drink brilliant but when you're in the stadium as a fan it's not great so we're gonna head to the pub right now two hours till kickoff and then we'll go in the stadium and I'll show you what I mean I then met up with my friends saw the team line up in the pub and then we headed to the stadium right we're on our way to the stadium right now I'll tell you what there's so much around it as you know the shopping center food drink everything pubs in front of us is the stadium 20 minutes till kickoff We'll see what the atmosphere is like today about Bournemouth at home on a Thursday night. You know it's not going to be great. Here we are then, the Olympic Stadium, West Ham. The surrounding area just looks beautiful. Location, and I will always back this, fantastic location. It can't be in a better place. Coops, look at the sticky finger, the irons is out. Whoa! Oh God, it, it, he's already off on one. But nevertheless, Coops, what do you think about the stadium as a West Ham fan who goes home and away? Oh, okay, that just answers then, proves my point then. Not a football crowd, is it? No, you are right. It's just an Olympic stadium, isn't it? You prefer Upton Park, don't you? 100%. Yeah. It's short and sweet, Coops. Every f***ing ground I've been to is never like this. He's on about the queues ahead, by the way. 10 minutes till kickoff. We may miss the bubbles. Oh, he wasn't joking. Uh, the queues are long. Right, we are through. The lines, mate. Uh, Cooper, you got to sort it out for next time. Mate, we don't own the ground, do we? We are in with two minutes to spare. This is the concourse. It looks okay. I'm going to have to get a pie soon. Apparently they're quite good and affordable in for Fort West Ham and London. In Jack Cooper we trust, we're going to the sea. Literally one minute before kickoff. Actually time this to perfection. Look how far it is from the pitch. Okay, it's on 0.5. There you go. It's far away. Oi, hey, what's the score going to be, Ollie? 2-1. Oh, oh, listen to him. Are you going... Got the proper bubbles out here. Absolutely loves it. It's not a football stadium. Nevertheless, let's see what happens with the football. United! United! He is a proper ultra. Come on, boy. Honestly, if you go West Ham away, watch out for this bro. But here we are then, we've kicked off. Let's see what happens. Interesting lineup for West Ham. A lot of midfielders. Phillips making his debut. Kudos back from international duties. We will see what happens. Like here's an example of it. If you're an away fan, any upper tier, even lower tier, you're just level with with the pitch, it's not a good view at all. Exactly. Should have bought my binoculars for me, to be honest. Oh, what? Bournemouth are just, oh, it's offside. Well done, that was a little scare for West Ham. Offside, I actually don't know really what went on. I just saw the player just tapped it in and they scored. Yeah, Cooper knows everything. He's actually Mr. FA, Premier League, EFL, wow, everything. <laughs> Cooper is Mr. Everything, so if you want to go through the rules, it's this man. Oh, uh, it's actually the goal. It's on Twitter. It's a goal. Right then. That's a great start for West Ham, weren't it? This was always going to be a tricky game in my eyes. Bournemouth starting to find form. I like their manager. They've transitioned well as the season's gone on and it's now 1-0 to Bournemouth. And now Bournemouth are on fine voices now. West Ham haven't really been on an attack and it's 1-0 to the away side, Bournemouth. Coops, when are you going to the pub then if you're 1-0 down? It's fine. I thought it was fine. It was David Moyes. David! <laughs> He's blaming David Moyes already. It's been five minutes. This is standard. 15 more games left. Thank you. Oh, what a European trophy he wants him out. Oh, this is this is brilliant. Look at the gap here between the upper tier, lower. Oh, honestly, you can't call this a proper football stadium. And that is why I think it's the worst. You can't disagree with me. Shit. 15 minutes in, it's not that great. My football is <laughs> oh my god. And I'll tell you one thing. Bournemouth fans singing football in a library. This wouldn't they would not be singing that if it's Upton Park. Oh my. Oh <laughs> yeah, as expected though, one nil down everything, the atmosphere is very flat. 
Yeah, 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 it is. It's yeah. not that great if you're a hammer. Let's put it that way. I don't think you're enjoying it, Coops. Boring, mate. 31 minutes in. Boring, it's just boring. not looking good, is it? <laughs> this hooligan over here, you got to watch out. <laughs> Moy's ball's getting better, though, Coops. Mm, no. He really ain't. He <laughs> really is. Right, let's bid off this last five minutes. It's all about trying this pie. But where is this pie? Apparently, it's at a really good price as well five pounds or something. Especially at you know, London Stadium, it's a good price. So let's try this out, whether it is. Alright, it's a famous chicken bolty pie. We're going to give this a go and I'll give you a little little post pie review. Right, you can tell it's gone down a treat when it's absolutely bloody demolished. £5.25 in London as well at Premier League Stadium. I'm not complaining. Right, the second half is about to get underway. It's 1 0 to Bournemouth and uh, the, the bubbles are still out. Surely this second half can't be as bad as that first half. I just can't believe it. Like, the gap between it, it's not a football stadium and it is the worst in the Premier League. People might say Luton, they might say Bournemouth. No, you're all wrong. Far away from the pitch. Okay, you can see the action. Actually, do you know what? From this angle, it's not as bad, but when you're in your way end or the upper tier around here, that is when it is bad and the view is horrendous. I don't think this bubble machine's stopping anytime soon. But the atmosphere in here, let, just listen. Yeah, it's not great, is it? Go on, Coops, are you going to turn it around yourself? Mm, well, oh, what we're saying there, kudos. Oh! Oh! He hasn't given a pen. I don't know, I thought it was going to be a pen. It's definitely being checked. It didn't nail it on to me, unless it's got like a little touch on it, I don't know. I'll tell you one thing, the view may be bad from here, but even I saw from here, but that is a stone wall pen. Oh, he's, yep, he's going to the monitor. So yeah, it looks like he's going to be given a penalty. At least this will make Cooper happy. Oh. <laughs> it's not the thing is, if Ward Prowse scores his penalty, it'll be Moyes in. If he misses, it will be Moyes out, and Moyes isn't even <laughs> taking the penalty. There you go. It's given as a pen. Ward Prowse, you put your house on flipping scoring this. Is he going to miss? Yeah, I'm going to score. Yeah, I'm going to score. Here we go. Yeah! Yeah! Ah! There you go. There's the goal. Cooper's happy. And that means I'm happy. Come on then, it's 1-1. One, one. Good penalty down the middle. Composed. Oh, the bubble's coming out again. The bubbles are coming out. Chase Wolf Rose, my lord. Chase Wolf Rose. He's the only one singing that. And that is game on it. Hopefully that makes a good last half an hour now. It's a touch to be fair. Oh my God, just past the post. I was waiting for that to hit the back of the net, to be honest. I think everyone wants to guard it. They've got the card. This absolute hooligan in front of me, honestly. I just can't stand this bloke. <laughs> For goodness sake. The fan experience, what do you rate it? It's <laughs> mate. You don't like it? <laughs> away but why? why? Why Why don't you like it? Have a look yourself. He's got a point. Eight minutes to go of this game. I just don't know if either team are actually going to get a goal here to win the game. I'm not sure. I'll tell you what, if anyone's going to get a goal here, it could be Bournemouth. Oh, if it wasn't for that, if it wasn't for that, I think that could be 2-1. I've got a perfect view of what the away fans, look at the distance. It's a joke, isn't it? And that is why it's the worst Premier League stadium in the league. I'm sorry, it is. Just not good enough, Coops, is it? Moyes out. No, no creativity, Nick. Right, that'll do me then. I think I've had enough. Three minutes to go until the 90th. That, that's it. That concludes the video. It was a great laugh for my mates, but as a fan experience, I can see it being quite dull. For an away fan, it isn't great at all, but let me know what you think in the comments. At least the pie was nice, but thank you for watching and please subscribe.